And this is the opening monologue from the play. Uh, <clears throat> so you don't have to. Serendipity, home for the aged, mission statement. You could look at it as a television commercial or the devil whispering in your ear. We know how hard it is to care for loved ones when they're getting old. You're busy with your lives, we know. Get the kids up and off to school and then go to your jobs each day. You got enough to do. It's harder than raising kids because it won't get easier as the years go by. It just keeps getting worse and they just keep getting older till they die. And what if something happens while you're gone, while you're away from home? Get a good caretaker, someone you can trust, in your house with all your things to come in every day. Who's got that kind of money? All day long, they sit alone at home, all day so lonely. Why not bring your loved ones here to serendipity? We can keep them busy, entertained, so you don't have to. And when you get home tired and you just want to rest and watch TV, they want to bend your ear with all of their complaints. And if you don't find time to listen, they sit there sullen at the dinner table, picking at their food and looking angry or depressed. We'll listen to them sympathetically when they complain, and when they're suffering, we'll give them something for the pain. And when agitated, we'll keep them medicated. Always calm and quiet. We can do that for you, so you don't have to. And if there is, and there most certainly will be, some medical emergency, you'll never have to call a doctor or an ambulance. We can do that for you, so you don't have to. Bring them here to serendipity. We can feed them, give them all their medications. We'll deal with Medicare and Medicaid, so you don't have to. We'll clean them up each day. We'll get them dressed, take care of all their special needs, so you don't have to. We'll be there for them, with them, as they grow older, slowing down, becoming feeble, incapacitated. We'll provide a wheelchair when the time comes, so you don't have to. We can call you at the last so you can be there at the end to witness their last moments, be with them when they die, but only if you want to. We can even be there for you then so you don't have to, and spare you all the inconvenience, call you when it's over, We'll even tell the family white lies like how they died at peace or in their sleep, if you want us to. So you don't have to even know how they were so afraid and called your name. You don't have to hear such things at a time of sadness. We'll lie to you and everybody else if you want us to, so you don't have to ever know. Why should you? You don't have to. Then we can help you out with all those last arrangements. We'll call a doctor to pronounce them dead, and then we'll call the one who comes to take away your loved ones, the one who'll put your loved ones in the ground, the undertaker, a.k.a. the funeral director, the one who takes charge when we're done with them, to do all those final things that must be done so you don't have to. Obituary in the local papers, flowers, coffin, tombstone, mortician to embalm the body for the final viewing, unless you go the other way, cremation. Finally, the funeral arrangements with a priest or a preacher and some limos. As for the things that they left behind here at Serendipity, we'll itemize them, set them aside, whatever you may want to keep, mementos of your loved ones, and we'll dispose of those things that you don't want, so you don't have to. So you. You can see here at Serendipity, we've thought of everything when it comes to taking care of the ones whom you hold dear. Whatever you don't want to do, we can do for you, so you won't have to. Thank you.